What are you doing? Tinkering. <laughs> Are you bending your wedges? Yeah, I'm bending them. I'm fed up with it going right. So you've had an issue with where they're going. Yeah. You did ask from like that. This is not Callaway's fault. This is my own this fault. This is your own fault. My own doing. Your own experimental fault. Um, yeah, let's talk about what you're doing and show it. It's an interesting one because I think lots of people can learn from this because lots of people, I would say, have their wedges too upright. Yes. And uh, you're not that person. I'm not that person. You're wrong the other way. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's talk about this. Right, before we get into Matt's wedges and their lie angles, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button down there. If you're already subscribed, remember ring the bell. Hit a thumbs up if you like this video to let us know you want us to do more of them. Let's get back to seeing what Matt is doing, bending his wedges. How's that looking? Different, more upright. So talk to me about your lie. What, what, so I would say Callaways as a rule come out a little bit upright. Whenever I get my Callaway sent to me for, for videos, yeah. I ask them to bend them flat. Yeah. Um, tight list is the same, tailor-made, tight list, Callaway, always a bit upright. Mm -hmm. I think more predominantly American market based, taller people generally, as a general, and they're just yeah. building for the masses. Yeah. Um, how, what's your standard lie on your clubs that you have delivered? One to degree. You? Flat? Yes. So what did you get these wedges, the new wedges bent to? Three. And why would you do that? Well, um, because of twists and things, I put into the club to change trajectories and things, um, I wanted less adjustments on certain shots okay but that's proving fatal for just the standard ones really that are all missing right yes yeah, so you're missing right a lot because yeah. you've got them too flat yeah so general rule i found i think which is what you would go your irons one flat but then you're tempted to have your you should have your wedges too too flat, flat yeah but you went three, three to try yeah. and push it a bit more yeah if you have your wedges one flat so the same as your irons mm -hmm. what does that make you feel like you're gonna miss left right so if someone say let's i mean how many students do you see with club right clubs that are built too upright for them a lot and then their wedges <laughs> are just yeah. like if you're pulling Crazy your wedges out, yeah. this is a great place where you can look for improvement it was more it was kind of a test and the test obviously didn't go how i planned it. yeah so yeah, absolutely. it's good that we can change it again so this is now standard or you put this to one flat or two this is um one flat, I think I've moved this two degrees. So this is now in line with your in normal line with set? My, yeah. And obviously, oh, we would. No, no right ball, look at that. Yeah, well, I mean, you Straight can see it if you're off. watching the latest vlogs, the amount of wedges Everything's you right. hit right. Like when I'm editing comedy, them, isn't I'm it? like, that's right, yeah. that's right. They're not one left. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that nice to see? Yes, that actually went that, that's straight like to left. Pleasing me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right, let's show one that's not been bent. Then one of your flat ones. So I guess you're seeing that now, are you? Yeah, completely. Seeing Where that. are you seeing it? What do you mean? Where do you so see it's it? It's a toe more than anything. Like this is closer to even this way when I'm looking down at it. Whereas I can see now that my other one is more this way, obviously not that much, but that's what I'm seeing. What's the standard um, textbook lie that they should be? Do you remember, do you know what the old test 60. is that the PJ used to do? No, no, so no oh, measurements. Oh, like, yeah, like a coin under the end. Yeah, so yeah, like, like, I mean, that's, a, you should be able to put a 2P slightly under to about here, basically. Yeah. So you don't want them starting flat because so, there'll always yeah. be a bit of shaft manipulation yeah. as your hands go to adjust as well into impact. So this is the flat one. Let's just hit two with this and then we'll look at the numbers. Oh, little swine. It's don't a good go shot. Right it's equally right as it is left, but yeah. again, you just don't like seeing that. Because it's you? weak over there too. Is that weak? Like, yeah. A lot of it, it's, you know, like Rory's. Yeah. When yeah. you pop some iron yeah, over yeah. there, yeah, that's yeah. what I feel like I'm doing. Yeah, you're doing a Rory. <laughs> no one wants to do a Rory, do they? <laughs> Lost his talk card, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, he has. <laughs> <laughs> that's more of a lefter. Yeah, so that's let's have a look at the lies of that because that is a decent shot. So you're very able to override it. Yeah, this. but I don't want to do that. You like, don't want to have to think. Wanna try. Yeah, yeah. I, I never thought doing short game for since being on the channel. Really yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what comes out. Right, we'll start off with the bent wedge. So the one you've bent, Matt, mm -hmm. that strike now, the lie position, is at 2.6 degrees toe up. 
and the club that you, your standard club, the one that hasn't been bent or been bent purely by Callaway, is at 1.1 degrees toe down. So I've definitely moved it. And you've maybe overcooked? Overcooked it slightly. So I want these to line up with my irons again. My irons being one flat. Yeah. My general set needs to be two so i reckon i've just overcooked oh, that, done that tiny little bit yeah and we've definitely seen that in the results haven't we yeah yeah so back to the bender machine just to fine tune again as well when you think of fittings that i've done in the past i'm sure you're the same dan as doing more fittings is that people go set of irons yeah. or drive or what have you and then they go just can we get some wedges and like bung them on at the end yeah, a little bit yeah, it's yeah. such it's a bung so on at the end easy. isn't it yeah yeah um, so so important the way i mean I, I, really good fitters the guys on tour that i'm seeing not even every club mm. is the same lie and i yeah. spoke to one of the tight list um guys who make the clubs and he was saying really you should think about you could like, if you're gonna do it properly properly you would go have every club, club fitted yeah. because and I'm saying my hybrid, for instance, is not shaping the same. Yeah, you my, fade it sometimes, correct. don't you, with your hybrid? So if you so, want to see certain yeah. shapes, certain clubs, Lai can do that. Yeah, yeah. You've overcooked it, Matt. Back I go. Yeah. <laughs>